Hello and welcome to the course on Docker Basics. My name is Sijish and this video we will see how to push an image to Docker Hub. So in my previous videos I have explained how to create a login in Docker Hub. So after completing that so we will go ahead and login using that credential. So here so once you log in here so you can see there is an option called repositories and let me see what are the files or i have uploaded so initially it's empty so let me go back to the terminal and execute the command docker image ls sorry docker image ls so these are the images or uh, available in my system I'm going to create a container by using this so docker run iPhone D iPhone T D for detachable mode T for terminal and uh, iPhone iPhone name then my center is container then so which image I need to use so I'm using CentOS 7 and uh, the program I'm executing is slash bin bash okay so this will create a new container with this name so let me just check docker container ls that is listing and my container is up and running this is my container ID and my container name is this one my first container my, my CentOS container okay let me just go inside this container and uh, execute something use docker exec to connect that iPhone IT for interactive iPhone I iPhone T this is also fine then what is my docker ID and uh, which command to execute so if I use this command I'm able to go inside this container okay and if you just use hostname iPhone F you can see so this is the running container and the container ID so this is same so what I'm going to do here is I'm just installing some packages basically I need to show you I, like I'm making some changes here so let me just check rpm iPhone QA and uh, grep httpd so httpd package is not there by default i'm going to install that right so this will download the packages from internet so not only this uh, http packages what are the other dependent packages that is also will be downloading and installing in this container So it's httpd and this much dependent package is also downloading and installing so once this is done let me go ahead and uh, start httpd uh, so let me just see the status okay i think uh, what else? Uh, let me just see rpm fmq and grep httpd yes these packages are there so i'm just coming out of this and uh, see docker container ls so what i'm going to do here is i'm just saving this image that that is basically a centos image uh, with the HTTP install so let me just use docker commit so what is the container ID and the new name which I am going to use so the new name I am using my uh, docker hub login name that is Hadoop engineering slash then 
centos iphone http colon 7 so docker commit will take this container and save as a image okay now if i just use docker image ls i can see this is the new one and this is saved locally and this is around 329 mb so initial uh, this is the base one this is around 202 mb but i have installed http and this around 329 mb so next i'm going to log into my uh, docker hub by using docker login so once prompted type the id and uh, password also okay so login has succeeded now i can just use the docker push okay what is my image then colon tag so this will upload this image file to the repository okay and uh, this is my repository name so by default this is my login id for this repo so it will take some time because it has to upload these files to the repository so okay now you can see this is pushed and if I log in here and refresh I can see this centos hyphen HTTP has reached here now let me do one thing docker image ls then docker image rm this one colon 7 this is deleted now if i do so this one is not there right then what i'm going to do here is docker run hyphen it interactive and iphone t4 terminal and iphone iphone name test docker 01 and what is the image name and bin bash sorry i think uh, there is a typo here see here you can see even though this is not available locally this is pulling from the repository because I have already uploaded into repository so I can uh, use some other machine also and use this okay and here you can see this is the uh, image that I have already uploaded into docker hub and this is working fine like similar to any other image so we have learned how to upload an image to a docker hub and also test by downloading the same to locally you can use the docker pull or docker run command to download this image that we have downloaded to uploaded to docker hub so i hope you understood so with that this concludes this demonstration we'll see in the next video Thank you for watching. Bye.